Hello YouTube, what's going on? This is Mr. Moopig9 here, and today I am bringing you guys a tutorial on how to apply Minecraft Pocket Edition mods on your jailbroken device. So, I'm going to be going step by step through this process, so just hang in there and copy exactly what I do so you can get it all done right. So, once you are opened up and reloaded and everything with Cydia, you want to go to Manage and Sources. And from here, you're going to hit edit and add a source. And this source, I'm going to go ahead and type it out. It's going to be this source right here. Uh, the series source, I believe is what it's called. It's cydia.myrespace.com slash series. I think that, I'm not entirely sure that's how you say it. But, cydia.myrepospace.com slash series, like that. And just hit add source. But I've already I've already got mine added. But once you have that, all you gotta go into the source, and there's only five packages inside the source. Download the MCPE patch uh, modification, whatever you want to call it, and just hit install, and it'll go through its process. And I think you have to respring because it adds a, an icon to your screen here, and that's MCPE patch right there. So, once you have that download from Cydia, you're going to want to go on to Minecraft Wiki, or Minecraft Forums, actually. And I will put this link that I'm on right now in the description below, so you guys can get to that quickly. But, um, right now, I am on Dark Fury 5's uh, page for mods, because he's a really good Pocket Edition modder. But, um... I'll click this link for the 0.6.1 version of Pocket Edition mods. And all you have to do is click on the show. I'm, in this case, I'm going to do the run mod. Hold on that link and hit the copy button. Now, from this point, it's really easy. All you have to do is exit out of the app and go into your MCPE patch. And from here, you just go to Downloader, paste it in, and hit the Download button. And that will add a new mod to your list. And from here, all you have to do is check mark and hit apply patches. Uh, for some reason, display recorder won't let me open up uh, Pocket Edition without cutting off my voice. So I'm gonna head, going to head over there right now. Okay, guys, now I am in the Pocket Edition app and I'm going to head over to one of my worlds. I'll just click on a random one. I don't think this one has anything on it. But as you can see, my run mod is applied and working properly just like it should so the process isn't too long and it doesn't require too much effort to apply what mods you want uh, you could see my MCPE patch mod list there was like 15 or 20 mods in there but you know you just gotta search through the Minecraft wiki and find what mods you like and all you have to do is copy and paste that link in the download tab for MCPE patch and hit check mark it so it will be patched and hit the button that says patch and it will be added to your game just like that so this mod isn't a very isn't a very good mod I don't think because look at that distortion it's really weird you run too fast and there's no way to disable running without actually exiting the app and going into your mods and unpatching that so uh, that's pretty much covering my tutorial on how to add mods I know a lot of you guys wanted to know how to do that and so I'm finally releasing that video for you guys who did not know how and um, so it's a pretty simple process like I said uh, I will leave that description below for the Minecraft wiki pocket edition mods I will give you guys the Dark Fury page. Uh, actually, I'll just give you the iOS, uh, the, just the Pocket Edition mods page, and you can navigate your way to the Dark Fury page if you want from there. But there are many other mods you can download that can make your game better. I also have Smooth Shaders on currently, so if you haven't tried that one out, go ahead and download that one. It's really cool. It adds like that smooth texturing look. Also, if you have not watched any of my mod reviews, go ahead and check those out. I, all I am doing is giving you guys information on what mods are the best, I think, 
and uh, how they work and just basic information on some really cool mods that out there for Pocket Edition. So, uh, this sums up my tutorial for how to add Minecraft Pocket Edition mods. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something. And if you did, go ahead and click that like button below. Uh, it really helps me out and continues to, I don't know what I'm saying, it makes me want to continue to make videos like these for you guys. And also, if you aren't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button uh, so you guys can be alerted when I release a new video and can be updated on any information that I need to release out to you guys. So, uh, once again, thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't already, go ahead and watch my, my mod reviews, and uh, try to download that one, and just test it out, and have some fun on Pocket Edition. And that's it, guys. I will see you in the next video.